Okay guys, I got an insignia washer. I'll do a quick video on uh, the problem with the spin. I took this thing apart all the way and uh, figured out that I, I can't fix it. I'm guessing it's a control board, but uh, I'll show you what I found out. So basically it does agitate, but it doesn't spin. So to get into the diagnostic mode, to make this faster, you have to hold these two buttons in and at the same time press this guy so basically means there's no error codes it's beeping so for the spin cycle you gotta press this guy I'm a little too late here um, this is to test the spin and this is to test the agitate um, so I'm gonna do it all again basically when I'm when I do the spin test it doesn't doesn't spin just the drain pump runs uh, and I'm, when I'm doing the agitate test it agitates but only one direction just keeps going same direction it's supposed to go like back and forward so that's how I know that there's a problem with the control board I tested the connections all the way from the control board to the motor I tested the motor windings so I'm guessing there's a relay on the motor that's shot so here we go, we are in. Oops, I tried to open the lid. It went to the error. Okay, so press temp. That will do a spin test. You can hear the clutch. And if you take, there's a panel in the back, you can take that off. The control board is right here on the side when you take the panel off it's on the side uh, you can see the clutch underneath and the clutch basically pulls this wire in and kicks it into gear and when the pump runs opposed to the motor should start running after that shortly and uh, nothing's happening as you can see so we're just gonna sweep, switch it to uh, agitate can see it's only spinning one way so yeah it's a $300 washer and uh, control board is probably 200 so I'm not sure how much how worth it is to fix this one but at least uh, yeah hopefully this helps for your diagnostics so uh, and actually and when you're holding these two in and you press the power button you will get the error code and uh, if there is an error code but this one doesn't have a speed sensor on the motor so it doesn't know if, if it's spinning or not so it is very skimpy washer made pretty cheap and um, it doesn't know that there's a problem with it but uh, yeah hopefully this helps you I did a lot of searching online and I couldn't find uh, any manuals for it but I went on a plantology and uh, this one guy find out that uh, it actually uses the same clutch as a Frigidaire washer. So I looked up that Frigidaire model and it's actually, the controls look identical. Uh, the diagnostics is identical. So you're going to have to, yeah, I'll, pa I'll paste it in the description, the model number for the Frigidaire washer. And then you can download the manual if you're trying to do like in-depth diagnostics for it so i hope this helps guys thanks for watching